morning, everybody. Uh, yeah, it's kind of early in the morning for me. It's uh, just got glued together real fast. So yeah, I'm scary looking this morning. I don't care. <laughs> um, I admit this is kind of like a tough few days. I've said in the past, I live with a chronic condition called reflex sympathetic dystrophy. And the past few day or so it's just been a really rough time for me so um this week everything may be short and sweet i have been getting a lot of questions pertaining to two things that are in the news uh so i was going to wait until my next regularly scheduled saturday morning um video where i would do q and a's but since i've been re repeatedly these same two questions have been coming up i figured okay i'm just going to knock them out right now and it's kind of funny because for one i really didn't have any answers and when you're a clairvoyant you get information at the weirdest times so when i thought about one thing it's like i'm this morning i'm in the bathroom brushing my teeth and i get the answer so first off the balloon uh what came to me was the term, remember, this is entertainment only, the disclaimers in the box, um, a clairvoyant, so everything I put up is entertainment only. Do your own research. And so to get back, um, yeah, I uh, got the message, I got the phrase, payment for services rendered. So the balloon was allowed to come across the northern part of the United States because the owner of the balloon had already made payment. So this is what they made payment for. So this is why it was allowed to go across. Um, somebody needs to do some extreme digging into campaign contributions and the tax records of a couple people. So um, my, whoever I get the information from, the words were payment for services rendered. That's why the delay in taking it down. They were, let's just, I'm just going from there. So that's, that's what I got on it. The other thing, everybody is talking about Rachel visiting a certain wealthy older gentleman who's a philanthropist. Well, I had a different gut feeling about something, so I poked around, and we know Rachel wants to get back into acting and have a primo role. Well, um on a website called uh, Film School Rejects. I found an article about uh, the possibility of a biopic being done on Elizabeth Taylor and how Elizabeth Taylor started her AMFAR chair, worked with AMFAR and her um, Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. What people don't what a lot of people have forgotten is that Elizabeth Taylor has two younger sons from her second husband, Michael Wilding, and her son, Christopher Wilding, for a short period of time, was married to Aileen Getty, the niece of Gordon Getty. Now, uh, Aileen had a pretty wild lifestyle, drugs and so forth, and... Um, after the divorce from Elizabeth Taylor's son, Aileen was diagnosed HIV positive. I remember news reports coming out stating that the Getty family then disowned Aileen. So who did she go running to is her former mother-in-law, Elizabeth. Elizabeth took her in and got her the help that she needed. And at this point in time, Aileen Getty is still alive. Uh, so obviously she did not get suckered in with taking the stupid WAPS AZT, which I saw two people in my own life die from. 
<clears throat> so yes, going back. So there's rumors around um, Hollywood that there's going to be a biopic. It would not surprise me for Rachel to go and try to talk to Gordon Getty, who's known for his work. He's a composer, but he does have some connections in the film industry for her to be considered for the part of Elizabeth Taylor or for the part of his niece, Aileen. So that's what I think is going on. And um, uh, so Rachel may be doing anything impossible, whatever she could get to get cast in one of those parts. So uh, that's what I've gotten on that. And um, that's about it right now. Um, I hope you, I hope I answered the questions that everybody wants to know about the balloon payment for services rendered and, um, the rumors that a film is being made about, uh, Elizabeth Taylor and her work with HIV AIDS and Rachel wants the part of either Aileen or Elizabeth and she's doing whatever it needs to be done to get those, to get that part. So please remember everything is for entertainment purposes. Please subscribe, click the thumbs up, share. Uh, and um, yeah, today's the sixth. So uh, I'll be talking to you on the eighth and I hope everybody has a good day. Talk later.